What's up guys, this is your captain speaking, Mr. Space Monkey, and I'm bringing you another Modern Warfare 3 gameplay on Interchange, um, busting out the uh, MK14 with the red dot sight, and I haven't used this gun very much, but I, I actually really, really like it, it's a two shot kill on everything, and pretty much from any distance, and it, I, I really, really like it, and this game I think I go I want to say 42 and 5 if I remember correctly but once again I'm not here to talk about the gameplay but so in my last video I covered um my ideas for Black Ops 2 and I, I touched on a lot of things but there I did miss a few things that I wanted to talk about that I just had only a few seconds to really even um, mention so, one of the first things that has been going back and forth on Twitter for about a month or two now with um, one of the producers of Black Ops is um, the sniping system. Now, the sniping system, what they're planning on is either making it always a two-shot kill unless it's a headshot like, say, Halo or Gears of War, or um, making it always in the torso area unless it's a leg or an arm shot always 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 a one-shot kill um now the problem is is that with sniping in say modern warfare 3 or any previous call of duty game you would shoot them in the torso and a lot of times you would still get a hit marker and that would piss a lot of people off so that is one thing they're also trying to work, that they're trying to work on. Next thing that I mentioned in the previous video, but didn't really get to discuss at all, was um, Elite 2.0 they're working on. Um, there's not going to be a contract with Microsoft again, so PS3 players like me don't have to worry about um, getting their content, like their downloadable content, like new maps and stuff, a uh, month late. And one thing I did like about Black Ops that I would love to see them bring back would be uh, wager matches. Wager matches were a lot of fun. They brought in game types to Call of Duty like Gun Game and One in the Chamber and things like that. And wager matches were also really cool because of the COD point system that, uh, that Treyarch innovated where instead of unlocking things through like the use of weapons and stuff, you would just buy it with your COD points. And that was a really cool way to go about things in like the creative crap in the creative class side. And um wager matches gave you pretty much if you were good at the game types, a very quick way of getting lots of COD points. And um the next thing I would like to talk about were uh, kill streaks. Now, I kind of touched on this a little bit in the last video, but uh, kill streaks. I would love to see the point system back in in Black Ops 2, which I'm sure they wouldn't take out because it was such a great innovation and there was so much positive feedback about that. And I would love them to see them continue the specialist um, strike package which was really great. I love using specialists. It's a lot of fun. You're like a, just an immovable tank once you have all your specialist perks and proficiencies and all that. But one thing I would like them to fix up would be uh, support. And support support is great. It's a great way to support your team and all that, but things like stealth bombers and escort airdrops and things like that you know, I think they're a little bit too much for a specialist or for a uh, support package that you just you continually get even when you're dying. So maybe they could change it to maybe every every three deaths it resets your your uh, streaks, or maybe just take out those those uh, streaks that uh, are kind of kill horish like the stealth bombers and the osprey uh the escort airdrops to an extent because they do kill enemies when you get too close to them and the next thing 
is uh, theater mode I would love to see back. I'm sure they wouldn't take it out. I love that Modern Warfare 3 integrated the, um, they, they integrated YouTube with theater mode, which was really cool, so you can kind of upload clips to YouTube. It's not really useful for commentary, but if you want to upload, like, a sweet five-man snipe, then it works really well. And, uh, one thing that there's also been talk about on Twitter lately was, uh, LMGs and, like, fixes for LMGs, because there was a recent buff in Modern Warfare 3 for all the LMGs where every single one of them has a three-shot kill from any distance, even with a suppressor on them, so they went from being pretty bad to pretty damn beastly, if you ask me, and one thing they've been going on on Twitter about for uh, Black Ops 2 was what to do with the LMGs because LMGs are almost so unpopular because you can't really move around with them and that's kind of part that's kind of the part of the sacrifice you use for or you kind of the sacrifice you make for using an LMG is moving around really slow and the really slow reload because you have that giant 100 round, 100 round magazine most of the time and he one thing they've been going on about is whether they should you know make a LMG into a clip style reload or maybe make people run faster with them or some kind of fix for LMGs so if you have any ideas just leave them in the comments below I'll take a look and um, another thing I would like to see is of course I'm the perk or death streak whatever you want to call it that everyone in the world hates I mean unless you use it which I pretty much hate you if you use it, so get out of here, is uh, Final Stand or Last Stand or Final Chance, whatever you want to call it, where you lay down on the ground, take out your pistol or weapon or whatever, and continue firing and getting kills, which just pisses me off, because usually I can kill them, but when I don't, you know, they either end your streak or whatever. But, um... The next thing is no one like all powerful weapon. Like in Black Ops that was one of the mistakes they made, which they tried to fix with the patch, but in Black Ops the FAMAS was extremely overpowered and um, it was pretty much the all around best gun in the game. And you see right there I grab my Osprey gunner, try and run back into the corner and open it up, but uh, my Pavlo is still out. <laughs> I actually remember this, I try and shoot down my Pavlo because I wanted to use my Osprey Gunner. But anyways, in uh in Black Ops they uh they they patched the uh FAMAS for the first time and that was kinda one of the first times they'd ever really done something like that. And Modern Warfare 3 has kind of followed suit with patching guns like the Type 95 and the FMGs to an extent. And um a couple other things I wanted to talk about were um, bringing back a few things, like bringing back the war game mode from um, from World at War. When I back in the World of War days, when I still played World at War, War was honestly one of my favorite game modes. It was so much fun. It was almost like um, it was almost like an odd form of domination, but a lot weirder, but so much fun because you're you're trying to push back the enemy back to their side of the map and you're always spawning on one side of the map or the other um, consistently and you fight for the middle of the map and then you continue pushing them back to the other side which is really cool but anyways um, I'd also like to see them bring back the YY like the normal YY because the YY in Modern Warfare 3 when you hit uh, Triangle Triangle or YY on Xbox or PlayStation is um, in Modern Warfare 3 it's a little bit weird because it takes the gun off the screen and then it brings it back and I would love to see them bring back the normal YY which kind of if you're a trick shotter it kind of makes your tricks look your trick shots look pretty sexy but anyways, I'd also like to see them bring back the dolphin dive, which was great. I love dolphin diving in Black Ops. 
and um, generally make it less depressing to play, because Treyarch games are usually pretty depressing. Because, I mean, if you played World at War, you saw when you opened up that, uh, that home screen that it was a pretty depressing game in general. Like, it had the tank all bogged down with the soldiers' graves and all that. And it was almost scary to play because it just it depressed you so much. So I would really love to see them make that game just a little bit less depressing, maybe bring in a little bit more color like Modern Warfare. But anyways, that's about the end of this game. Uh, once again, I think I go 42 and 5, and that's actually my friend that I was playing with in this uh, video, um, White Kid. He's pretty cool. I might put a link in the description to his channel. But anyways, um, Space Monkey out.